The first sprint of the day then is race number three, 1200 meter dash. It's a class four contest headed by Loriz. Both him and Oriental Amigo A class droppers. Oriental Amigo in this grade for the first time. Loriz is a three time course and distance winner in this grade. Day Day Rich still a maiden after eight. Gets up from the thousand to the 1200. My Ecstatic makes his debut here for Frankie Law. Zach Purton rides from barrier number nine. Shining on, dead heated. Course and distance two starts back. Third to Bullish Brother last time out. Courageous uh, Dragon second up for the season. Good run behind Willing Field first up and fantastic Fabio likes to roll he's come up with barrier number 10 he's another course and distance winner two back but that was class five Oriental Amigo good shot and shining on that mark of the horses that have been up at Chumfa and the 1200 metre speed map has Day Day Rich and fantastic Fabio on a good speed vying for the lead in front of my aesthetic who's around Lariz three wide wood on fire no luck outside of courageous dragon and honest way they go back through the field, shining on, gallant crown, oriental amigo and destined jewellery. Paul is last on the fence. Our uh, first one we'll look at here is Lariz. Now he's fourth up now. He's a pretty fit horse and you can see he's quite keen. He's quite full of himself as he comes down. He's another horse that's been downgraded. That seems to be the trend in these first few races. We've had plenty of downgraded horses and he's another one. Uh, is Lariz, so he's going to have his chance. Good shot up here at Chung Fa. I thought it was a really nice piece of work from him. Uh, he's got barrier one, so he's going to get his opportunity. You can see him closest to us. He's just working with a partner horse, but doing it really nicely and uh, finishing off really well, I thought. So he's definitely going well. And Courageous Dragon, another one that's going nicely enough here. A couple of even sectionals for him as well. Uh, and he should get a nice run from barrier four. Still a maiden from his 12 starts, but has run some pretty good races. And we'll have a look at one of those runs uh, in a moment or so in actual fact. We're going to start, on though, start off, though, with um, Shining On. He's won already this season, but this is his last start effort, uh, Mark, with uh, Destin Jury further back. It does seem a little bit in and out this season. He does indeed. Shining On Andrew is racing really well at the moment, and the anticipated good speed that we saw on the speed map is going to help him. He gets back, Paul. He relies on some luck at time, but he's always finishing strongly. Yeah, he's got barrier eight, so then he'll go back as he normally does. You can see he does finish off. It's just whether he's going to get the race run to suit. OK, next up. Back at the valley um, again. This is Gallant Crown running fourth again. Course and distance behind. Here comes Teddy. Finishes off strongly down the outside, Paul. Yeah, it was a really nice run, I thought. He's only had the two starts at Happy Valley, and he's run really well at both. The first one that he did run at Audi was a massive odds and ran second, and this was his next one, and I thought he just finished off this race really nicely as well. So he'll strip fitter for this. So, look, I've included him. He's drawn 11, but he gets back. Yeah, he's in it also uh, for me as well. He's um, coming out of Barry 10 off that race, so Barry 11 is pretty similar. All right, Courageous Dragon was off a long break when um, doing this last time out. So, Mark, this is his first up effort behind Winning Feeling. It wasn't a bad performance either. He did got into that race with no trials, and it was June to October. His second up record he has placed before, and he's got barrier number four, slightly better than what he had first up, Paul. You know what you get from him. He's never far away and can quite often get into a good spot. Yeah, exactly. And, look, he's had the 12 starts, but he's, this was a, another nice ra uh, race for him. He didn't look like um, troubling the winner at all, but he still ran well. All right, so first start of the race is My Ecstatic. He's uh, trained by Frankie Law and he's ridden by Zach Pern. We caught up with Zach at track work and asked him his thoughts what he's uh, about uh, starting off over 1,200 metres on Sunday. He feels like he's probably going to want a little bit further in time, but you know, early on in his career, hopefully he's sharp enough to be able to handle the 1,200 at the Valley. Most recent trial was at Happy Valley. What was your assessment of that trial? I thought it was a nice enough trial and... I thought the pleasing part was that he'd come between a couple of horses in the straight and as a young horse uh, it got a little, little bit tight and he didn't shirk the task. He stuck his head out and poked his way through there so for a, like I said for an inexperienced young horse I thought that was a good sign. And in that trial he beat Soaring Tower who you won on last weekend, can you draw much out of that? Does that give you extra confidence? Uh, yeah of course when horses um, come out and perform well they'd have finished around you. It's always pleasing, um, and he's a horse that's got some ability himself, so no, it's just a matter of getting the right spot on him. It's a bit of an awkward gait, and hoping that the races just run nicely for him and it gives him his chance if it gets a bit messy and it uh, gets him off balance and out of his rhythm, it, it's hard for young horses to pick up, so let's just hope we get a smooth run. Looking back at Wednesday night, you won the last on King Shield in terrific fashion uh, and there's talk of him going overseas. You rode Gunpit, who was a terrific dirt horse and was Group 1 placed in Dubai. Can you draw parallels between those two? Uh, I can. Um, you know, they're, they're obviously both exceptionally talented horses on the surface we have here and 
Gumpit, as you, you mentioned, raced well. And I think King Shield could go and do the same thing. You know, he's got good speed, he travels kindly, and he's got a good turn of foot. So if, if, he, if he was able to get in a race over there and find the front without getting too much pressure put on him, I, I could see him holding on for a long way, whether, he, you know, whether he's up to the class. It would depend what he's up against, but I certainly think it's worth the trip. Yeah, it could be exciting times ahead for uh, for King Shield, but uh, just concentrating on this one now for uh, for now, Paul. Um, what do you think about uh, this debutant? I think he's a nice horse. He looks really good. He's trolled well. He did go through that gap, as Zach pointed out, really nicely. Uh, he looks quite a professional horse. So I think he's uh, a leading chance here. And punters agreeing, he's come up with the early favourite. He's had the three trials. He also finished behind Roman Turbo, who had a really good debut last Sunday at Sha Tin and. Ed mentioned that during that interview he's beaten home Soaring Tower, who won quite well last week also. All the signs are positive uh, then. Paul, what do you think? Uh, where does he figure for you? I've got him in second. I, I just think good shot. I just really liked his work up in Chung Fa, and he's come up at an each-way price here at 13 and 3.1. So I'm going to make him the each-way play. Uh, good shot. From Barrier 1, I just think he'll be in, in front of my ecstatic. Uh, so 5 to beat 6, but I'm, I think that's the Quinella. Gallant Crown from the back. And Lariz, the downgrader, he'll be right on the pace, and he should get a nice run from Barrier 3. 5, 6, 7 and 1. First starter for me, my ecstatic. We heard from Zach about 30, 60 seconds ago, and he suggested that as long as he doesn't get pulled off balance, he should be pretty hard to beat. So six goes on top. Nice trial. He's had a look at Happy Valley. Shining on his racing well. The anticipated pace in the race is going to suit him perfectly. Gallant Crown seems to love Happy Valley if he's two visits there. Or anything to go by in Courageous Dragons consistent. Six, eight, seven and ten. First starter for me as well, my ecstatic. I think you can make it uh, count on debut. On King Shield as well, now up to a rating 109 for that three and three quarter length win on Wednesday nights.